This is my first road trip ever. 2,000 miles, 10 states in four days. At least, that was my plan. Also, that's not my bike. This is. I had never ridden a bike this big before this trip. To understand why I'm doing this, let's rewind a bit. Five years ago, against all my upbringing and friends and family's expectations, finding myself burnt out and frustrated doing everything for so long I felt I should be doing, I decided to learn to ride motorcycles. I couldn't get enough. But I did still have bills to pay, so on the weekends, and eventually when I felt more comfortable commuting, riding was my escape. After going full-time with my motorcycle content this year, but also somehow finding myself behind a desk a lot again, with no experience and much more than a day trip, I decided I just needed to take off, alone, and ride. I planned a 2,000 mile trip all up and down the East Coast to visit old friends I hadn't seen in a long time, and new friends you probably already know. Oh yeah, and I needed a bike to do it. Not only was mine delayed in the shop due to the pandemic, it's not a good road trip bike. I needed a more comfortable seat, good wind deflection, and the ability to pack a lot in a pinch. I kind of dropped the ball and didn't try finding a bike until the trip was only about 10 days away. Emailing the contacts I had and searching on Rideshare, Two wheels is better than no wheels. A big cruiser, a bagger. I hadn't ridden a cruiser in years, not to mention it was twice the weight of any of the 20 plus bikes I had ever ridden. I made sure to practice with it in a parking lot the day before I left, really using those 12 plus classes I've taken this year so that at least I could get used to having my feet in front of me. I know what you're thinking. A girl on a long trip by herself, isn't that dangerous? Well, for one thing, I look more like a highlighter than a girl. And to keep myself safe, I made sure to wear all the proper gear, bring the safest helmet model I owned, and told myself to avoid rain and night riding as much as I could. Or be smart if I got stuck in it. When I got stuck in it. A lot. I kept an itinerary of where I'd be, who I'd be with, and when. I sent that to my husband and my mom. Whew, all right, we're about to embark on the first leg of the 2,000 mile road trip. <gasps> Look at those beautiful mountains. This land is so bad. Hey, Rachel. GPS says I should be getting in at about 8 p.m. Oh my gosh, these are wet. They're waterlogged. How does that happen? Oh no, the sun is setting. How is it setting? How is it setting already? I'm like two hours away. Damn it. Hey, time to look for a hotel. There's nothing but the Hotel California out here, but my head hurts, I'm tired, I can't see, so I am desperate. So I did not make it to my first destination. Somehow I arrived here like, three hours later than I planned to. So I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, or just outside of Nashville. Um, I was uh, here to visit one of my friends from college. And uh, I did stop at one point because I did have to do like a Zoom call for an hour. I started getting a really bad headache, um, maybe from the wind buffeting uh, coming from the short windscreen. Yeah, my head was so hurting so bad. I could barely see. I was so tired. I, I realized I was just losing focus. I was like, whatever my direction would say, I like would miss it. So I decided, even though I, I kept thinking like, I'm only an hour away, I'm only 40 minutes away, I'm only 30 minutes away, but it just, 
I just kind of kept feeling worse and worse. And I thought, you know, this is, this is getting dangerous. So trust your gut. So instead I pulled over and I uh, checked into this hotel that smells like weed. Uh, but my friend came over. She came over, um, even though it was like nine o'clock at night, she and I both go to bed early, but she came over and brought me dinner and I finally got to meet her new husband. This was supposed to be a four or five hour ride and it took me like eight hours. My next ride is supposed to be about seven hours and that's to her two wheels in Ohio. So I'm like, I hope I don't double that time too. Hopefully I can, I can make this trip to Ohio just fine and I'll, and I won't, uh, and I'll do better time and I can do it in one day. But uh, I don't know. Oh boy, nothing like starting the day off while it's raining with some wet gloves. That blow dryer, I think I shorted it out. It just stopped working. I can do this. I can do this. The rain isn't so bad. Oh, this is terrible. 400 miles of torrential downpours. I am so over it. By the time I get out of Tennessee and I start getting into wherever is next, I can't remember geography, Kentucky, and then Ohio, I guess, uh, it won't be rain anymore. But one of my pant legs opened and uh, I got one wet leg. My hands are both wet and my cheek pads are all wet too. Capillary action, I guess the water crawled up. Nerd! I was hoping I'd stop at a gas station with hand blowers, but uh, only paper towels. So wish me luck. I think I might make it. I have been riding in the rain for seven hours. Oh. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, my body, my head, my back, everything hurts. So, miss destination number two by just a few hours. It has been raining so hard. Yesterday, was raining the entire ride, seven hours of rain. Um, actually, there were a little spots where it stopped raining, but it was overcast and I could tell it was going to rain anytime again, so I didn't take off my gear. Uh, it rained so much that my rain gear like stopped working. <laughs> Somehow, rain gear came in, I mean, water came into my one-piece suit and my pants were wet, and my waterproof gloves that I reviewed for the rain riding challenge that worked great then because I had only ridden up to like 40 minutes in the rain uh, were soaked. They are currently drying. Hopefully they're gonna be dry on the inside but they were literally dripping water. So uh, I might just stick a blow dryer inside of them. But my, my, my headache has just like not gone away. Yesterday, uh, my plan was to get to Jess to Jess's place and spend the night at her, at her place. But um, I was three hours away at seven o'clock and I didn't, I was not about to ride in the dark plus the rain. So I stopped at another hotel, uh, but now I'm only like two hours from Jess on the highway. And today I'm gonna take it easy. I'm gonna go back roads, which should be much nicer because you do still get some buffeting on the Harley, even though it has such wide fairings, the windscreen is kind of short. So you get, you do still get buffeting. I don't know what I was thinking, riding five days in a row for six or seven hours. <laughs> so day number three. I'm sure you're also wondering, at 5'3", 0.75 inches tall and not all that swole, could I pick it up if I dropped it? Shouldn't I ride a bike only if I knew how to pick it up? Oh well. As long as I don't drop it, then I don't need to pick it up. So just don't drop it. Don't drop it. Oh.
done. Who's the boss? I'm the boss. I know I'm getting close because I see cornfield. Hello! How are you? We drove from Southern Ohio, Kentucky this morning, so she's here, yay! That was a much better ride today than the last two days. Does okay. your driveway loop around? Yes, it does. Oh. Good, because I, I don't know how to U-turn this. No, Not yeah, tight. same. Oh my god. So, <laughs> I avoided it like the plague. The rain has been awful. I know. Awful. Awful. Oh, thank you. Girl, I got you. The last two days, I was over, I like somehow added like three hours yeah, to the whole well, trip. Yeah, remember when I was like, whatever your GPS says, add like two hours? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my husband's out back building a shed right now. <gasps> what? Oh, yeah, do you want to see it? Yes. <laughs> oh, what are you doing here? I've watched your channel too. <laughs> I love it. I, I totally want... forgot your seat's wet. I'm like, why am I wet? Oh, all oh, oh, the seat. <laughs> Sorry, didn't warn you about that. <laughs> well, let's decompress a little okay. bit. Yeah. Wow. I heard it on differently. Look at her. <laughs> Liam, babe. Oh, look at that pearl filly. I know, it's so pretty. Is this arrow new? Yeah, I just added it a couple weeks ago oh. to make it look like Appa. Yep, yep. Hmm? Hi, honey. We come here. Oh, she's super friendly. She get, I mean, she's a cat, so like, yeah, she'll get annoyed and bite, but usually it's just me. <laughs> it's just me that she likes. Thank you. Uh, so my friends would like come over, and if I was having a bad day, I'd be like, you know what? Let's check and see if I'm YouTube famous yet. And I would like look, and it's like, you have 15 and I was like, okay, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> what a pretty awesome investment. Oh my gosh, this is huge. It's a GoPro. Now you can put them anywhere. We put them on us. This is a very good thing. Ohioan hospitality. Thank you, Jen. I'm me too. I'm so glad I made it. <laughs> Keto dessert. <laughs> so, the moral of the story is take the trip. Because even if you're a short, skinny girl that's never ridden a big bag around the street, never been on a road trip, and you get stalked by the most persistent storm cloud, you'll have a great time. 1,000 miles in and 1,000 more to go. Next stop, Lolly and Revzilla in Pennsylvania. I'm a big fan.